Hello and welcome to the next video update on this RPG series I'm doing. Today I'm going to show you off the main station tree for the first side quest. So this is the area that you get transported to after the intro cutscene starts. The you notice this rock in the water, which is actually the event controller for this area, and this little NPC to the right. You can choose to talk to him right away, which kicks off the initial conversations chain. But if we walk up here, get this. If you choose to listen at this point, it treats it just as if you talk to him to start with. If you walk on, because this is important, it prompts you again. And again, you can choose to listen, and it's just as if you talk to him at the start. If you choose to walk on, he says that. And you now have about 15 steps in which you can change your mind and talk to him. I'm going to save here so I can show you both. So, if we just bimble around and uh, don't talk to him, he sods off. And that's that side quest gone. So we've told him no, we don't want to talk to him. The side effect of that is that we've taken a hit to our honor stat, which may which is used later. So but you know, he's got a point. We are a chivalrous knight, let's talk to him. At this point, the que the conversation chain goes at exactly as if you'd talked to him up there at the start or right at the start. Little salt bubble. And uh, a bit of introduction about the quest about the main opponent of this area. Knights guarding bridges is a pretty classic trope. Oh I hate that word. In Arthurian tales and this this of genre. If you agree, we immediately go off to here and there'll be an event and a combat. Obviously I'll need to do a custom sprite for Bradamante on her horse, but as this is just one of the generic ones. Where it gets interesting is if we listen to his spiel. If you refuse politely, you take no honor hit and you're allowed to go on on your way. And once you've refused his quest, after a few steps, he walks off. If you refuse rudely, you take an honor hit again. And he asks who you are. Now, if you tell the, tr if you, uh, tell the truth, you regain your lost honour for being rude. But, and I've, I've missed out a dialogue box here for, here, for him, but it, and it triggers a flag that says he knows who you are. As Bredamante's, um thought bubble said, there's bad blood between their two houses. So later on he's going to show up and betray you. If you refuse rudely, and then obfuscate who you are, you give her title, but not her name. And then there's a one in three chance that he'll remember who she actually is, and it'll be the same as if you told him the truth. However, you don't regain your lost honour for being um, rude to him. The flat out lie. At this point, he doesn't know who you are. But you've taken another honor hit for lying. And there we are. The next thing I need to do is actually work out the class abilities for Bradamante, start finish off mapping this area, and uh, do the combat with the knight. <laughs> 